Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from AzureAutomation.com and welcome to another video from Azure Automation. And today I'll be talking about multi-domain workflow automation using Cypress 9.6. This is one of the major problems that we as an automation test engineer have been facing quite a long time and Cypress has answered this question. If you don't understand what this multi-domain workflow automation is all about, just take a scenario where we have a website, for example, let's say Lambda test website. And if you try to log in the website using a third party authentication system like GitHub or Google or Microsoft authentication, then we always have to go through a another domain, which is nothing but the github.com or microsoft.com or google.com website to authenticate our Lambda test account and then log in back to the Lambda test website as you can see over here on the animation. But in order to achieve this third party authentication, you can see that all these automation testing tools like Selenium, Cypress or Playwright or whatever tool that you take. So they always restrict us to not go from a starting domain, which is the start of the automation testing domain to a different domain, for example, github.com uh, or a Google account, because that's a different domain altogether. So that's the problem we have been facing in automation testing quite long. We used to do a lot of different way to eradicate those problem, but now this is a very, very straightforward solution that Cypress team has come up and it can actually solve the problem that we have been facing so long. So how to really overcome this problem? Well, Cypress has introduced a new experimental feature called as the experimental session and origin. So if you just put this experimental session and origin in your cypress.json file as true, so this multi-domain workflow automation can be done. And not only that, you can keep adding a bit of code change in your code and then you can start working with it. Basically, you need to add a code called as sci.origin where this is where you are going to put an origin like an additional origin that happens within your workflow. Just have to put that and then you need to wrap the code inside the particular origin method and then you need to perform the operation like entering the username and password and the whole code is going to look something like this as you can see in here. Well, you will see that there is going to be a uh, origin method which has wrapped the login operation in there and then performing the click operation and then you come back again to the actual site which is nothing but the lambda test website in this case to perform the rest of the operation so that's how this whole functionality actually works so let's quickly see everything that we are discussing over here in the code and understand how things work well before we go into the demo i'll also add that this whole discussion that we are doing here is completely added as a step-by-step -step discussion in our end-to-end -end test automation with cypress course in udemy so if you are already a student of that particular course you will see that particular discussion already added as a topic in there so that's what it is so i'll quickly show a demo now and you will understand how awesome this particular feature is all right so now as you can see in here in this particular code demo this is the code which i've been talking in my course in udemy where you can see that this code is actually completely written already but it is quite straightforward code as i was showing in the demo on the slide there it is currently visiting to the lambda test website and you can see that it is trying to navigate to the google authentication by this is the link i mean the, the identifier is quite bad but yeah just leave it to me for now so once we click it you will see that it's going to take you to a uh, github page where it will do an authentication so i'm entering my username and password there and then I'm also gonna click the sign in button. And once I click the sign in button on the GitHub account, the authentication page, it's gonna redirect me back to the Lambda test page. And there is where I'm gonna verify one more thing, which I'm gonna go to the profile and then I'm gonna go to the profile link and verify if I have my account, which I have been logging in from my Google account. That's what my verification test is all about. So this is what this particular test is doing. And then there is another test which is doing the exact same login operation, but it is also going to verify if there is gonna be a uh, preference tab and clicking the preference tab and verifying if it contains an email notification, something like that. That's what it is gonna be verifying. So there are two tests actually, it's gonna do those operation. But the most important thing to note in here is the sci.origin itself. So this sci.origin is the one which is responsible for you to perform these operation. So let's quickly see by running this particular test and then I will also add another different way to run this whole test in a more simpler fashion. So first of all, we're gonna open a terminal here. So I'm going to open the npx cypress open and then I'm gonna choose my without command login.js file, this one. All right, the Google Chrome has been opened. And now it is going to launch the Cypress for me. And as you can see that it is going to start doing two test operation for me. One is the login multi-domain and verify the username. And then the login multi-domain and verify the preferences on the preference tab. 
So it is gonna navigate to the Lambda test website and then it is gonna click the login button for me and then it is gonna enter the authentication using the Google authentication there. So you can see that now we are in the Google authentication page and now Cypress is not really complaining me about the cross origin resource sharing problem that usually happens before this particular update. Now it is even navigating to the Google website and performing those operations for me, which is great, which was something completely impossible before, but right now it is happening. And you can see that once it logged in, it is also performing the rest of the operation, like navigating to the profile page and performing the rest of the operation. And then the second test is now running. So it is also gonna do the same operation that you are seeing over here, like logging in and entering the username and password and then going into the profile and also verifying other scenarios like preferences tab. So you can see that now it is on the profile and then it's going to the preference tab and then performing a verification like the email notification is there or not. So the test has got passed and it took 91 seconds to perform these operation. It is a bit of time, but yeah, the test is actually running, which is great. So this is how we could able to see that we could able to perform a multi-domain, like two domains here, like Lambda test domain as well as the Google, uh, the GitHub domain is actually working fine. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm also gonna show one more test to you this time. I'm actually gonna close this over here and I'm gonna run another test, which is going to be the first uh, .spec.js file. And you will notice that this test has got a bit of difference and I will run this test first and then I will show you the difference like what it is in the code afterwards. But you will notice here that the test is actually starting to run. And you can see that it has now went into the profile page. It is performing the operation. And then it has instantly went into the profile page once again and then verifying the preferences so instead of 91 seconds that took before now it is taking only 62 seconds so almost like 30 seconds we have reduced here it's especially because that we are using another operation in here while running the test which is nothing but the session operation so you can see that we have a session there so basically cypress team has also introduced what is called as a session where it's going to store all the session information like cache uh, as well as the authentication everything is going to be stored in the session and then it's going to be used for us and during the rest of the operation that we are doing so that's why you can see that in the package uh, in the cypress.json file they call it as the experimental session and origin so basically there is an origin as well as there is a session there so these things are currently happening because you can see in the there is a new test like first spec.js file where I have added this login operation. Basically, this is like an additional command operation, which is the custom command that we can add in the Cypress. We have added that. And you can see that the test is super simple in here. So it's just gonna visit this particular profile page and then it's gonna verify if it contains the cart MCAT and then navigating to the profile and also clicking the preference tab and then verifying if it contains the email. So the test is super simple because the whole login operation has been uh, carried over to the custom command, which is the login command. So this custom command is actually sitting over here in the command.js file. And as you can see in the command.js file, I'm actually going to be creating a login custom command and then it has a session and within this session it has wrapped the origin itself uh, if i just try to format this document you will see that within this session we have this lambda test visit operation and then we are performing a side dot origin the authentication operation and then we are going to perform uh, a verification here that have you entered into the main page of the lambda test that's the one thing that we are doing over here. So that's the custom command for us. And the most important thing to notice in this whole command is in the side at origin, we're also passing an arguments for the email and the password. The reason why the team has mentioned to pass these email address, uh, email address as well as the password in the args is because they need to serialize these authentication into this particular format. So that's why you need to pass an argument to perform those operations. That is the only major change in terms of how you use a side out origin in the command than if you directly use without the command over here. So without the command, I directly pass the, the username and password. So that's about it. This is the multi-domain authentication using Cypress. And I'm quite excited to see that this has finally come to an automation testing tool like Cypress, and it's gonna make our life much, much easier. Once again, Thank you very much for watching this video and you guys have a great day.